Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, an educational community for people who want to learn Photoshop and Lightroom and photography and lighting and stuff like that. I got a trick for you today. Um, it's really a Photoshop trick, but I'm <clears throat> starting in Lightroom, so it kind of uh, counts, right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna add kind of a uh, kind of a look like you have light coming through a window shade or something. It's that kind of film noir effect that you've seen a million times in detective movies. So first I, shut, I set up a shot that kind of looks like that. So let's uh, jump over to Photoshop. So we're in Lightroom. I press Command E on Mac or Control E on Windows. We're going to send a copy of this over to Photoshop. So Command E on Mac, Control E on Windows. And within 45 minutes to an hour it'll open in Photoshop. Hopefully quicker than that. There we go. All right, there it is. Okay, here's what we're going to do. This is a super simple technique. We are going to use the rectangular marquee tool over here in Photoshop. We're going to draw a series of rectangles. So we'll draw kind of one, maybe not that high. Here we go. By the way, if you see me move one of these, if you hold the space bar, once you've, once you've drawn a selection, you can move it. So that's your, your free, pho free bonus Photoshop tip for the day. All right. So we'll draw one, hold the shift key so we can draw another, make this one a little wider, then a skinnier one. I'm just drawing rectangles, okay? So I just drag from one side to the other, and it's a rectangle. We'll finish with one kind of skinny one. All right, there we go. So here are our window shady things. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to this little pop-up menu that's like a half black and white cookie, <laughs> and we're going to choose levels right from the pop-up menu and nothing really happens to your image but your you see you now have an adjustment layer of that and you can see the mask like looking like look over here you can see there's those things well it didn't do anything to help our photo so here's what we are going to do watch we're gonna go down here to the levels adjustment right here we're gonna drag this to make it darker so we're gonna drag this to the right now unfortunately it does exactly the opposite of what we wanted it puts black lines over her face instead of looking like light coming through so here's what we're going to do we're going to do two things number one we're going to go to free transform command t on mac or control t on windows and we are going to hold the command key on mac the control key on windows drag this corner side point here and skew it down like this all right, and we can move it up kind of over her face like that. All right, so we skew it down, hit return or enter to lock in your change. And you can see I left a little gap there. That's not right. Just pull it out a little bit. There we go. I use free transform to pull that out. Now, to finish off our effect, we have just two steps. Number one is this mask is the opposite of what we need, right? So we need to invert that. There's a keyboard shortcut for that, luckily. The shortcut is Command I on Mac or Control I on Windows. So that just inverts the mask. And now we have what we wanted, was the area is darker except for these lines that look way too harsh to be light. So we're gonna go filter, blur, we're gonna add a Gaussian blur to make those lines a little more, see we can see, and you can choose the amount of softness you want coming through. And now that I see it, I think I want the angle to be a little harsher. So we're going back to free transform. We're gonna change that angle a bit more, there we go. And then you can decide a couple other things. Is it too bright? Is it too dark? Or you could duplicate it. If you press Command J, it duplicates it. We're going to invert that top one. And then we can use it to make it really bright if you want. So we pressed Command I to invert that top one. By the way, anyway, oh, one more thing. You see how it kind of makes her skin look funky as it goes over it? <laughs> we need to change the mode to luminosity so change that one go to the original one change the mode to luminosity it doesn't look nearly as bad as it goes across our skin there doesn't look you know so burned in but that's that'll that'll help their luminosity all right so that's our film noir look of the day hey thanks for watching hey one more thing if you like this kind of stuff or you like uh, retouching so when I, I know you're a Lightroom lover, you're on Lightroom Killer Tips here, check out Christy Shirk's new class on portrait retouching using Lightroom. She does the whole class just using Lightroom and she does some slick, slick stuff with brushes. Really, really just an amazing class. People are loving it. We're getting such great feedback. Go to kelby1.com. You can watch it right now. Take the 10-day free trial. You can be watching Christy's 
class immediately because we give you a code right away to get started. So there you go. Thanks, Merch, and we'll catch you next time.